Well, hi there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. I got something really cool to show you right behind you. But today I wanted to do a couple little tests with this awesome microphone, the Deity Duo. I believe it's called the D4. The Deity Duo is a shotgun microphone with two microphones, one that faces forward and one that faces backwards. So what I want to do is get a little closer to you here in just a second, let you hear me a little better as you get closer to the camera, do it in vlog style, and then also show you the beautiful scene behind you and turn on the back microphone so that you can hear me as well from the back side. Just a couple fun little tests. This is just fun and gimmicky, but it's a chance for you to hear what this microphone can do in a slightly louder scenario. There's also a little bit of a breeze coming off of this, what you're about to see behind me or behind yourself there. And it will just kind of show you that uh, even in a slightly breezy slash windy condition, this microphone might actually stand the test of what maybe you would need. Certainly a lapel microphone or something like that would probably be an easier setup for you in this situation. But sometimes it's just nice to keep it easy, have the microphone on top of the camera, shoot what we can. Let me show you what's behind you. internal microphone on the Fujifilm X-T2. So let me show you this really quick. This microphone has two of these that come with it. Also uses a right coat liar mount for the microphone. Really sturdy construction. Love this thing. Also has an input here. If you want to plug something into here, you can do that as well. Pretty cool microphone hands down and there's also an output from here that goes into your camera. The wind might be pretty bad. Let's put this back on really quickly. Let me show you the switch here. That switch will allow you to be able to flip the back microphone and the front microphone on and off. The instant that we flip the switch, what ends up happening is it will send one of the audios from the front camera to one channel, left or right and then it sends the other microphone from the back of the camera to the other channel, left or right, whatever the opposite is. So the benefit is you can edit those, those audios independently. Simply separate the stereo microphone feed, that's stereo audio, into two different audio files and then edit them as you see fit. If you want to mute the microphone, you simply mute it in that audio or delete it out. And then vice versa when it comes to the other front microphone. So it's very beneficial. So let me go ahead and show you here. We're gonna turn the microphone, face it back towards this beautiful area here. There's a couple birds floating around. Maybe I'll point it at them. And then I'll go ahead and turn on that back microphone and talk to you through that back microphone. And we'll have a little bit of fun in post-editing. Okay, standing behind the camera, hope you're enjoying the beautiful view. Now here's the thing. Right now, only the front microphone is on. That's why I probably sound pretty dull and probably why you can barely hear me over the water that is facing directly at you. I see the level's bouncing, but not very much. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the microphone on to the back microphone with a flip of switch. Right now we are only sending stereo from the front facing microphone. Pretty cool that it sends a stereo signal out of the front facing microphone and it is a shotgun microphone. Let's turn on the back one now. With a flip of the switch now, now you're going to hear the reverse microphone. Okay, so we have the one facing forward that is still capturing the other audio and the one facing backward. Now in post editing here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and turn down the front facing audio completely, which if I'm correct is the left channel. Okay, so left stereo channel and only the right channel will be on and that's going to be my voice and the reverse microphone. Now right now it's saying that the audio is pretty loud. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our audio settings here. I'm going to turn my X-T2 down to a level 2 right now. And hopefully that will give us a little bit of a better level. So really what you're doing is you're not exactly affecting anything in the front facing audio. Because the benefit of this microphone is it's still sending that left channel out and capturing everything that it was capturing in the stereo mode. But what you are doing is you're adding the right channel in or the back microphone and you're not losing any data because if you're capturing audio that you don't like from that reverse camera, that reverse microphone, all you got to do is mute it. It's as simple as that. Mute it in post. Super awesome. Makes for a really great microphone. You can use it in so many purposes. All right, minions, let me go ahead and wrap this video up for you here. 
and I still have the microphone turned on. The back microphone is recording all the audio from behind. The front microphone is still recording me. You still have the separate channels where I can handle them independently. Let me make one or two more important notes for you to know before we wrap this video up. First and foremost, on my Fujifilm X-T2, which is a camera from about 2016, its preamp right now is turned down to one. If I turn it down to zero, the microphone's completely shut off. In saying that, keep that in mind, because if you're out shooting and you're in a very windy condition, which right now there is a little bit of a breeze, but if you're in a windy condition of about 15 to 20 miles per hour, you will get clipping, you will get uh, uh, peaked audio. I cannot get the microphone to turn down enough to allow me to work in even windy scenarios. If there's a bit of wind, the microphone does clip, and that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, now that's only with the Fujifilm X-T2. I haven't tried that on my Sony a6300. I haven't tried that on my uh, Lumix G7s. I just cannot get the audio to turn down enough. So keep all that in mind. That is important stuff that you should be aware of. Make sure that your camera has the ability to turn down that preamp a lot. Or on top of that, and more importantly, maybe if it has a, a negative dB blocker, so maybe you can block 20, negative 20 dB and then boost up your preamp, whatever the case may be, to try and make sure, because this microphone seems to be very sensitive and it may be powered off of the uh, plug. Be, actually, I'm guaranteeing that it is powered off of the plug that's in the camera because there is no battery in this microphone, which is a wonderful feature except for the fact that we're not able to control how much of that input is coming from that microphone. And if you can't control that, you're in a bit of a struggle. There are some microphones like the Rode Video uh, Mic Pro that do have that negative 20 dB block built into the microphone where you can flip a switch on the back of it. That does require a 9 volt battery and I often forget to turn it on and off. And it's also a much bigger microphone. So that is why I like this one and I like the Video Micro. Uh, which are simple. Now I feel like I have better uh, uh, abilities with the preamp with the Video Micro. I have not tested it in comparison to the D80 Pro Duo, uh, the D80 Duo uh, D4, but at the same point in time this microphone is wonderful if you're not in an extremely windy scenario. Right now I'm in five to eight mile per hour winds, give or take, pretty minimal, and I'm also standing a good uh, maybe eight to ten feet away from the camera. So that just gives you an idea of how this audio is actually playing out. I'm getting covered by bugs. It's time for me to go. I hope I've informed you well, and I hope that you enjoy your microphone if you do happen to get it. Uh, link is in the description below if you want to pick it up here on my channel and support me. I have affiliate links to everything below. If you like any of my gear, uh, everything is in the uh, description below. And thank you so much for buying and supporting my channel if you do so through my links.